video today. Check this out. I love this kind of environment. You got to see all this stuff. We're all doing a repeat, a little throwback. I think it's 11.3, five minutes, clean and jerks, 165. This is badass, I love it. Hey, I'm gonna go over some external rotation, internal rotation, and I love the noise in the background. It doesn't get any better than this. Good energy tonight here at Diablo. And uh, by the way, you wanna come train? Come check out Diablo. Craig Howard, legit, legit, legit gen owner. All right, so. What we're doing is we're going to be talking about how the internal and external rotation affects the ability to go overhead and how to how you get into a uh, into a squat. The problem is when you're getting into a squat, I got a message from one of you guys, Instagram guys. Thank you very much. Keep them coming. I'll do my best to get the videos out to you. Yes, I'm shouting. So I got this big vein in my neck because I got to yell. It's freaking awesome. But when you have to crank your arm up like this, the biceps got to fire if you don't have a lot of external rotation. When you got a back squat, especially low bar back squat so low bar back squat you're cranking up to hold that bar behind you the biceps gonna fire to help support you because you can't bring the arm up into a good position it stays down like this and it gets heavy the bicep starts to engage I promise you this you got 405 on the bar you're not gonna be doing it with your biceps you need to do it close to your chain glutes quads all that stuff so by the way the guy yelling in the background that's Pete he is a savage, badass games athlete. I gotta throw him a shout out because he's legit. And he's a good coach and a great friend of mine. So, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take a piece of PVC. We're gonna take the hands. We're gonna put it right through here. And we're gonna absolutely feel the last, the tearing of the subcapillaris right off the bone because what they do is they do internal rotation. We're going to recover a lot of that external rotation. It's super painful, super effective. So get it done. It's the best video ever. So you're going to grab this. Get into this position. Bring the piece of seat light. Come wide. As wide as you can. And then just oh, crank it out like that. And then take the torso and shove it down. And just hang out like that for two minutes. How many? Yeah, two minutes. It's freaking hurt. But I promise you, remember, so get into the band, stitch it up three times. Grab wide on the PVC. And then just make can. Hang out here, baby. Hang out here, baby. And then just hang out like that for two minutes. That's number one. That's going to recover a lot of that external rotation. I'm going to show you the internal rotation one. This one hurts too, but it's super fun. Works really well. What we're going to do is we're going to recover a lot of internal rotate or a lot of that internal rotation by peeling away the long head of the bicep. So we're going to take the same thing. We're going to cinch up this band up on the rig. Now everybody gets to hear me talk. It's not like I'm talking to myself. Good. And uh, that was a pretty nasty workout. I didn't do it, but I watched it. And I'm gonna move this. So check this out. You see, I got the band on the rig. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cinch up your wrist in here, like this. And you're gonna bring it up behind you. Let me turn this just a little bit. Did you say 62? You're an animal. And what you're gonna do, sorry, I had to give recognition. That was savage, she is a badass athlete. Man, that's legit, 62 reps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let this, so you wanna be in a nice upright position, hold that chest real high, and you're gonna let it pull your arm away. This is not right, this is not right. So I'm cinched up to the rig, I'm grabbing onto this, and you're gonna let it pull you away like this, okay? Nice and tight, throw a knee up like this, and just hang out like this. How long? Yeah, two minutes. All that's gonna do is it's gonna peel away the long head of the bicep, recover a lot of that internal rotation. So now we've got external and internal rotation. We've recovered the shoulder. Now let's set the joint. This is the cool part. Oh, see, this is what happens when you have a good workout. Everybody hangs out. Oh, we gotta get that on there. See? People crush it, then they lay around afterwards because that's what CrossFit's about. We have fun. So we're gonna take this. It's the best part. We'll aim the camera up like this. My boy Jeff here just said get it. I should get a tripod. He's right. We're gonna throw the hand all the way through here. Okay. So there's two ways of doing this. 
I'll flip this around so you can actually see what I'm doing this way. Go on this side. We're gonna set this shoulder joint. You're gonna hear a clunk. Probably won't hear it from me, but you guys will hear it. You're gonna throw your arm through here, get it on the elbow, put your hand on your hip, and let it pull your arm forward. Get against the rig, just like this, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna try and push the rig as hard as you can with the elbow, you're trying to torque it backwards. That's all you're gonna do, give it a good push. Boom, you hear a little clunk, that just set the shoulder. So now we recovered internal, external rotation and set that shoulder joint. No more pinch in the shoulder, no more bicep pain, and you're gonna be able to smash all kinds of workouts. See, I'm Trav, Smash Works. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome night.